Welcome to our service today and happy Easter. This is the online service of the Anglican Parish of Logan and I'm hosting this service from inside Old St Mark's which was initially uh, opened for worship in 1901. Welcome to our service today. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all and also with you. Christ is risen, alleluia. He is risen indeed, alleluia. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and peace to God's people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Brightness of God's glory, whom death could not conquer, nor the tomb imprison. As you have shared our frailty in human flesh, help us to share your immortality in the spirit. Let no shadow of the grave terrify us, and no fear of darkness turn our hearts from you. Reveal yourself to us this day and all our days, as the first and the last, the living one, our immortal Saviour and Lord. Amen. Please listen to the readings. A reading from Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 15, beginning at verse 1. Now I should remind you, brothers and sisters, of the good news that I proclaim to you, which you in turn received, in which also you stand, through which also you are being saved. If you hold firmly to the message that I proclaim to you, 
unless you have come to believe in vain. For I handed on to you as of first importance what I in turn had received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures, and that he appeared to Cephas, then to the twelve. Then he appeared to more than 500 brothers and sisters at one time, most of whom are still alive, though some have died. Then he appeared to James, then to all the apostles. Last of all, as to someone untimely born, he appeared also to me, for I am the least of the apostles, unfit to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God, I am what I am, and his grace towards me has not been in vain. On the contrary, I worked harder than any of them, though it was not I, but the grace of God that was with me. Whether then it was I or they, so we proclaim, and so you have come to believe. Hear the word of the Lord. Also with you. The Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St Mark, chapter 16, beginning at verse 1. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James and Salome bought spices so that they might go and anoint him. Very early on the first day of the week, when the sun had risen, they went to the tomb. They had been saying to one another, Who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? When they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had already been rolled back. As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man dressed in a white robe, sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. He said to them, Do not be alarmed. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Look, there is the place they raised him. But go, tell his disciples and Peter that he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him just as he told you. So they went out and fled from the tomb, for terror and amazement had seized them, and they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, once again, Happy Easter. It's delightful to share this time with you. Uh, As I'm recording this sermon, as you can see, I'm in the cemetery at St. Mark's. And it's a couple of days actually before Easter, so I don't know uh, if on Easter Day we'll be locked down and some of you will have been in church, or if this is the Easter service that you'll be able to come to. But anyway, Happy Easter. It's delightful to share the Easter message with you again now. The Easter message is that Christ rose from the dead 2,000 years ago and is alive and in the hearts and presence of Christians even today. That he's not a dead saviour or a nice memory. He's our living Lord. In the story, Mary and the others bump into the edge of that and they don't get it all in one go. Encouraging for us, because neither did I. In the story, they've heard Jesus say that he'll be raised from the dead, and they haven't believed him. So these friends of his who watched him die, who saw where he was buried, have gone to the tomb to do what they can to love him and make him tidy, uh, because he's died, and they miss him already. When they get there, they find that the tomb has been opened and they look inside. You can imagine that they see someone, they think they're seeing the grave robber, and fear would be my response. We know from the other Gospels that what they saw there was an angel. So the angel's words to them, don't be afraid, this is what he told you would happen, he's been raised, and you and Peter and the others will meet him. And they run away in fear. They've been promised his resurrection, they bump into the edge of it, and they still don't understand, of course. Big things take a while to understand. From the other Gospels we know that Mary of Magdala was the first to meet Jesus alive again. 
that later in the day a couple of them met him on the road and that in the evening uh, Peter and co are in the locked room where they had the last supper and Jesus turned up walked into their presence uh, appeared in their midst even though they were in a locked room the Easter faith is that he rose from the dead back then and is alive as our living Lord now we have three reasons for that faith firstly the Apostles testimony Mary of Magdala met him Peter met him the other Mary's met him the surviving disciples met him you heard in Paul's letter to the Corinthians that Fiona read a moment ago for you people saw him the first reason we believe he's alive is we believe their testimony the second reason we believe he's alive is the tomb was empty the body was gone now that's against the laws of physics matter can't be removed what happened to his body either somebody stole it or he was revived and not really dead or he actually rose physically from the dead again and neither of the first two theories actually stacks up the second reason we believe he rose back then is the tomb was empty the body was gone and there is no other explanation the third reason we believe he rose back then is Christian experience there was a time in my teens when I asked him into my life and I believe that he was already there but he made himself more obvious to me there have regularly been times when I've looked at other Christians and we know that when we pray we're talking to someone we pray in his name someone's hearing when Christians gather we say we're the body of Christ and in different ways we recognize the presence of Christ in our midst I could go on but Christian experience based on the claim the knowledge that he rose from the dead proves that it works so those are my three reasons why I believe that Jesus rose back then and is alive now in our hearts in the presence of God and in our midst I believe their witness The tomb was empty and Christian experience as you listen to me read the story a moment ago uh, the story ended incompletely it ended with they ran from the tomb for terror and they said nothing to anyone for they were afraid they'd been told about Jesus resurrection but they didn't believe it yet it's like it had happened and the announcement had been made to them but it wasn't yet true for them they hadn't yet come into that experience how about you how about you have you said yes to Jesus as your Savior if you have and you only need to do it once then you have an eternal destiny with him he is your God you're a child of God loved forgiven with God forever on this earth in this life and in the life to come they hadn't yet said yes to it have you and have you known the presence of Christ in life's difficulties a year ago I preached my Easter sermon on that grave over there because a year ago at Easter time we were in lockdown and the plague is still going around and it may be that we're in lockdown again today in the last year as the world has dealt with COVID many of my friends have had crises in their life as well and the church uh, the church has had its scandals and so have our political leaders in the midst of life's difficulties do you know Christ in your heart and in your midst is the living Lord leading you through the Easter faith is that he rose back then and he's alive and with us today I hope you as I have have said yes to him as your Lord and Savior I hope you as I try to 
say yes to him every day as our guide, as the one who shapes our life and the one who sends us into the world to live a life of purpose for him. But in the Easter story that you heard a moment ago, it's still up in the air what Mary and the others are going to do. In a moment, I'm going to take you back into Old St. Mark's and ask us to renew our baptism promises because that's how we say yes to him and how we keep on saying yes to him. See you inside in a moment. Ubutumwa bwiza tugusanga muri Mariko Mweranda ikigabura cha 16 umurungu wa mbere gushikana ku umunane Umu maraika avuga yuko Yesu azutse Mazi sabati shize Maria Magdalene na Maria nyina wa Yakobo na Salome baguri bimota neza ngo baje kubimusiga Kandi mu mutwenzi kuwa mbere w'iminsi ndwi barazinduka bashika kumva izuba rimenye ijuru barabazanya bati ninde adutembagariza ikibuye cyo kumunwa wimva maze buna mu yamaso babona cyakibuye catembagajwe cavuyeho kandi cari kinini cyane maze binjiye mumva babona umusore yicaye mu ruhande rw'iburyo yamba imvune yera barumirwa cane Arababwira ati ntaco mwumirwa ndazi yuko murondera Yesu umunya nazareti umwe yabambwa none yazutse ntari hano eheraba aho bari bamushize ariko ni mugende mubwira abigishwa biwa na Petero muti arabitangira imbere kujigariraya iniho aho niho muzomubonera nkuko yababwiye Bava mumva barahunga kuko bari bafashwe nagatengo nakumiza maze ntibagira ico babwira umuntu numwe kuko batinye Mu gitondo ca mbere ca Pasika abakunzi ba Yesu bagiye kumva yiwe kumuririra kuko bari baziko yapfuye agashingurwa Yesu yari yarasezeranije abakunzi biwe kazopfa kubera ibyaha byabo kandi ko azongera kuzuka ku munsi wa gatatu ibi yabibabwiye keshi ariko ntibavyemera igihe abagore bageze kumva bagasanga yuguruye umumarayika yasa n'umusore yari muri iyo mva umumarayika abwira ababwira ko Yesu yazutse kandi ko bazomubona vuba barahunze kuko batunguwe kandi bafise ubwoba nyuma yaho babonye Yesu hama baramwemera iryo niryo sezerano Yesu yadusezeranije natwe ni muzima kandi tuzomubona ivyaha byacu byose birababarigwa turabana b'Imana Yesu yamana natwe kandi umunsi umwe bidatebye tuzoba tuzobana nawe ubuzira herezo pasi kanziza imani baheza gire amina As I said a moment ago the right response to the good news of Christ's resurrection is to confess and live faith in him The baptism promises symbolize and embody that response can I ask you to go and get a Bible because I'm going to ask you to make these promises again as promises to God. So pause the tape, the computer, get your Bible and hold it in your hand to make these promises. Well, welcome back. If you went and got a Bible or if you just stayed there, um, good to have you still with us. As you've seen, I've conducted most of this service from beside a paschal candle, which symbolises the light of Christ, and this font in which I baptised, I don't know how many people I've baptised in the last 10 years in this font. The water's ready, the candle's lit, with your Bible in your hand. The answer to all these questions, if you can answer them, is yes. 
Do you turn to Christ? Yes. Do you repent of your sins? Yes. Do you renounce evil and selfishness and injustice? Yes. Will you love God with your whole heart and your neighbour as yourself? Will you follow Christ as your Saviour and your Lord? Yes. Do you believe in the one God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit? Yes. Almighty God, deliver you from the powers of darkness and lead you in the light of Christ to his everlasting kingdom. Amen. Those are the promises that my parents and godparents made for me in 1962 and a little church much like this one over in Kenmore. Those are promises that have guided my life as a Christian and that guide our life as a Christian. Live them and Christ be with you. As I said in the sermon, Christ is alive with God in our hearts and in our midst. We are the body of Christ. His spirit is with us. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. Please share that greeting with everyone you can see.
Alléluia 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 Amen Alléluia 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 Rejoicing in the life, death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, we pray for the witness of the church, the wholeness of creation and all who are in need. As the hymns we sing echo the joy we feel today, as together we celebrate the glorious resurrection, may our Easter exhilaration continue throughout the rest of our lives and show in the way we live it out. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. We pray for a world that recognises Jesus as Lord and imagine how changed it would be, free from hatred, violence, poverty and injustice, a place where all would live together in love and harmony, and that would be heaven here on earth. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Faithful God, we think of your church today celebrating the resurrection all over the world. Language, race and nationalities may be different, but our worship and our joy on the day of resurrection makes us one in the gospel. We pray that the Holy Spirit may guide and strengthen us in mission and service, praying that day by day we may grow in love for you and for our brothers and sisters in Christ. We pray for your church here in Logan and especially for the new future as we and the rest of the world hopefully recover from the coronavirus pandemic. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. We pray for families, friends and neighbours who have not yet recognised that Jesus died and rose again for everyone. Help them to see and realise the possibilities that accepting him into their lives will bring, not least, the promise of life beyond the grave. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Just as the stone of Christ's tomb was rolled away, so roll away the stones of illness, despair, worry and fear, and pour the light and joy of his resurrection into their lives. We pray for all those on our parish prayer list in the silence of our hearts. 
Lord, your love reaches beyond the grave to raise your son to a triumphant resurrection. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. When we fear our death and the death of those we love, strengthen us in the knowledge that Christ has gone before us to reign with you, crowned with glory and honour. We pray for those who departed this life that they too may be raised with Christ. We remember Wesley Moyle, Victor Greatorex, Ralph Davis, Michael John Hartshorn, Joan Olive Miston and Kay Jackson. Love's redeeming work is done. Fought the fight, the battle won. Death in vain forbids him rise. Christ has opened paradise. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. May we go from this Easter day service rejoicing, determined to live a resurrection life and show the world that we are your disciples. Almighty God, you have promised to hear our prayers. Grant that what we have asked in faith, we may by your grace receive through Jesus Christ our Lord. Ama sengesho yukuru yumusi wa pasika. Itari kizine zukwezi kwa kane umuwa kwa wihumbi wiviri na mirongi wili na limwe. Awele kuhishengiru ya anglikani mariko mweranda hano mwuri Australia. Mana imbawazi, mana irukundo, mana tugirira nezu kubuke yukugije. Tulagushima, tulagukenguru kie unubgawe ni mbawazi zawe vya mohebe vidashira. Mana yachu ni watule mye. Tulabantu bawe. Ndeti jambu jara tugira kwa tule mje mwishu ya we maana. Tulagushima yuko. Ijambu jara tugira yuko. Ataki maze chari kubonete. Kugira ngo gishore kuduchu ungura. Ariko maana watanzu mwana wa Yesu Kristu kuunda. Kugira ngo umize la wese. Nihaza firubi. Ariko waza habge uugingo budashira. Yare meye arababa zwa. Yare meye aravumwa mate, yare meye arambikitsibo chamawa, yare meye aravumwa mate, yare meye ego arapfa kugira mwami mana turonke agakiza. Mana yacu turagushima kuri ugo rukundo rutangaje, turagushima kuri zo mbwazi watugiriye mwami, kuri jambo ryawe ryatubwira yuko kera nta bantu twarimwo kera twarabanya bya haruhebwa kera mana yacu twari babi ntabwo twagororoka ariko mana yacu amaze kuyitanga agafa ku musaraba akanyaga imfunguru z'umugwani z'satani n'iki gihudu igihudu cyari kikingiriye ahera gatabuka mwo kubiri amaze kuzuka mwama amaze gutsinda satani na rupfu mana yacu twashuye kwijizwa ahera turashobora kwishikira Tulawara kwa bimana. Tulawara kwa umu gami bimana. Mana ya chuwara koze. Noni dukundire mngami mana kuli ungabire wa duha ye. Dukundire mana tukushime. Nese tukusawe. Uhona ni natuwe mngami. Nubu nutu kwa giriwe. Nimbawazi tukwa giriwe. Mngami mwana. Ijambo jiawe na tukira ngombega. Ninde ukanjanu wakakiza tukwa hawe kangana kukyo. Mngami mana. Uduhe kutanja anjwa. Ahubu dohe kuwa nda nyuru gendo mana ya achu. Kugirango nitu wa shikiwa wa mwijuru. Zetu ichare dushime. Zetu ichare tulirimbe. Tugu himba aze. Kuzo duha nagura moso zetu wa liri yemuli isi. Kukiwa wenda nguara zuwa zikiriyo. Nha marira. Nha mfu mngami. Lero mula kakanya mngami. Tulagu sabje kuko. Ijambu jari tugira. Uduhe mwemu wa weyera. Uduhubu shobozi. Tuwa nda nyuru gendo mngami. Tuli mngisi yu mngiza, tuli mngisi yu mguanizi, satana la tugirageza, aliko mngami maana wakwize ye, wa mugendu wa giliraneza maana. Aba kwize ye, wakuli vyu gomba, wa mugendu wa giliraneza. Nishokitu manda kuingiga mngami maana, mungi hetu kiriho, mungi hetu kihumeka, mwana yeko tugiliraneza mngami. Na chane chane, turushizo kuitu kwa laliku mgami mgawe, nuku goroka kwawe, kugirango mmana ya achu, tuzetu wone kuingira mgami mgawe vgomu ijuru. Zobu koze mana ya achu. 
turasengeye uyu mwanya turasengeye abageze muri iki gihari bazima mwami turazi yuko hariho benshi bapfuye turazi ko hariho benshi bageze bibazo mwami ariko byo byose mwami bigenda biba mana yacu turagusabye abakiri bazima ngo ubahishurira majambo yawe mwami ubahe kwihana no kwitondera ibyagezo byawe kugira mwami mana ntegire numwe azobo ugupfa waje zoje mu muriro ngo zoje mu mahonero mwami turagusabye mwami mana kugi jambo yatubwiye ngo ntiduhagarika imitima ngo twizere imana wimuhira kwa data haramazu meshi tugusabye mwami kugira wagiye kutegurira mana yacu tuze tuyabe mwo urakoze mwami uduhezagire hezagira ishengero ryawe ariko numviza amajambo yawe hezagira mwami imana bakozi bawe bari kwagabura amajambo yawe hezagira bari byezagira abana hezagira abato hezagira bakuze mwizina rya Yesu ndetse mana yacu kuje wajukiza no wagwaye mana yacu ubabara ubashonje ubanyotewe mwizina rya Yesu turagusabye ngo imbiziza amazi y'ubugingo ziburuke mwami ha mu buntu n'imbabazi bibone kumuboneka ko mwami urakoze mana yacu mana ugira neza reka tukwereke ni ikiza cyingwa rakiyo kiranda gata ku isi mwizina rya Yesu abantu benshi bari hebuye abantu benshi babozi cyo bafata ariko mwami mana jambo rya uratubwira ngo ni wowe nzira n'ukuri n'ubugingo na ushaka kwa data mujanye nico gituma ndakusaba ngo ndakwinginga mwami ngo duhe guhitamo neza duhitemo Yesu kuko Yesu ari we nzira urakoze mwami ibisigaye turazi neza uzobiroranya mana ugira neza turasengeye imisi ya pasika turasengeye ibihe turimwo ubanaye kutugirira neza mwami ubanaye kweza turasengeye no umwaka wa 2021 mwami ubanaye kutweza mwami tugira umuvyuro mwami ukwitwara iki byawe kugira byose tuvyogere tuvyongegwa ibisigaye mwami dusabe ngo amahoro yawe amwarutwa nuko yo mwana wari wese arusirize gushira mu mitima yacu urakoze kuvyumvise ubikore nk'ugomba mwizi na Yesu Kristo umucunguzi wacu amen as our savior has taught us we are confident to pray our father in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as in heaven give us today our daily bread Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Thank you for joining us again for worship, and a blessed Easter for you and for your family. Uh, most things that we do as a church shut down for a week or two over Easter, but in terms of the in-person stuff at St Mark's and Good Shepherd, uh, it all kicks off again in a week or so. Our welfare work, our children and family work, uh, our Bible study groups. So I'd encourage you to connect with that if you're within range. And if you're not within range, well, we have a person in my Bible study group who lives uh, in England, and you'd be welcome to join us as well uh, if you can get to us so send us an email and look forward to connecting further with you easter blessings for you and your family i know that my redeemer lives what joy the best assurance gives Once was dead, he lives by everlasting end. He lives to bless me with his love. He lives to plead for me above. He lives my hungry soul to feed. He lives to help in time of me. Grant me daily breath, he lives and I shall conquer death. He lives my mansion to prepare, he lives to be safely there. He lives all glory to his name, he lives my Saviour still the same. Oh, joy.
The God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you what is pleasing in his sight. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among us and remain with us always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Apparently this is what Easter's about. These things get delivered by a bunny. Well, I like family and I love chocolate, but without Christ, there's nothing.